Hello and welcome to your daily dose of Satoshi's news. Today's date is Sunday the 7th of April 2024, the year of a million transactions per second or more. Take custody of your digital assets today at rockwallet.com, including Bitcoin SV, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Right, let's get into it. So let's start off with a little bit of 365 days of Bitcoin history. It is an exciting day today, being the 7th of April, my goodness me, but uh, just to go back to uh, the show I did yesterday, so I realised that I'd gone to Google Translate and I'd translated these characters into uh, from Japanese, uh, from Chinese rather than Japanese. So <laughs> we're going to go and correct that mistake right now. Check this out. Craig was right. So let's put this in uh, Japanese translation. There we go. Nakamoto Tominaga. And again, in Japanese, they put the the last name so it's like the last name the surname first and then your your first name last if you like so yeah nakamoto tominaga that is correct and uh <clears throat> let's have a look at this one ash ketchum so i'm not sure what that relates to but you put it into japanese and there we go satoshi so it is satoshi nakamoto so uh my my mistake there but <clears throat> fascinating stuff it's a real shame that that uh, blog isn't up because that was that was really great. I read the, the articles in there were fantastic. So uh, let's move on to the 7th of April 2010 when the proof session between Gavin and Jason and Craig Wright took place in London. Uh, Craig uh, signed a message for Gavin from Block One and the message was Gavin's favourite number is 11. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got this uh, so in the um, in a court examination, so the court examination uh, took place on February 26, uh, 2020. Uh, this is the uh, document here where um, uh, Gavin Andresen was being uh, cross-examined. Uh, and the question uh, was put to him, said, so, OK, I want to jump back into the timeline now. So we left it that you had just uh, exited the proof session on April 7th and you walked away from the meeting beyond reasonable doubt thinking Craig is Satoshi. Answer, yes. Question. And that was April 7th. Question, yes. Question. Craig's press conference was May 2nd. You know, oh, blah, blah, it goes on. Um, and there was also a bit here. Um, or page 163, so let's just skip down to that, about being bamboozled. Again, uh, Gavin clearly under pressure from an external source here, um, from, from my point of view. So, um, question, uh, and then you inserted in the line in response, okay, don't worry about me, I'm enjoying semi-retirement, all the people I care about still love and respect me and don't care that you bamboozled me and you did just not in the way that some people think. Okay, well, that's kind of like cryptic. So it's, I would say Gavin's kind of trying to hint that uh, there's pressure being placed on him. Uh, Mr. Class says, uh, objective form question. What did he mean by that? He answered, uh, I meant that he bamboozled me about the uh, uh, gobbledygook proof, but I still think it's most likely that he did not bamboozle me during the signing ceremony. Question, and he really does have possession of the private key to block nine? And Gavin Andresen answered, I still think it's more likely than not he does. He does. Um, brilliant. Another question. Uh, and then he says, I have sufficient funds and that they came, um, that they can, can uh, force me to sell you. Blah, blah, blah. It goes on. Anyway, let's just have a, uh, a listen to uh, what Gavin Andresen said when he was, uh, when he was interviewed. Check this out. Uh, let's, let's have a look at this. I do think Craig is Satoshi. I met with him in London. Uh, he fits the kind of person that I was interacting with way back in 2010. And he provided some cryptographic proof uh, using the private key from the very first Bitcoin block uh, to show that he possessed that key. So although it's impossible to prove something like that 100%, I think uh, for me, he's proved it beyond a reasonable doubt. There we go. Check it out. So that was that was out of the mouth of Gavin Andresen. Um, and there's another one. So that's where he was actually interviewed by the BBC. And this is when he was actually at the uh, uh, conference. There we go. 2016. Um, and that was that was uh, May. So it was uh, May 2016, uh, May 2nd to, to 4th. So let's have a, uh, a quick listen to what he says here. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised. 
I wasn't asked why I'm convinced. Craig is Satoshi. Um, I posted on, on Reddit, he signed in my presence uh, the private, using the private key from block one, block number one, the very first mined Bitcoin block uh, on a computer that I'm convinced had not been tampered with, on software I'm convinced that had not been tampered with, a message of my choosing. There we go. Check it out. Check it out. And that happened on the 7th of April 2010, which is the anniversary today, 14 years ago. God, all this drama in the space. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Wow. So so let's go on to uh, a little bit of, of news. So check this out. So this was posted uh, in The Guardian on the 5th of April 2024, entitled The Street Fighter and the 70K Donation. Uh, how Christian Egger Hansen got close to the Tories, uh, you know, it, it just, it looks to me like he was trying to smear N-Chain, you know, and do some underhand uh, dealings with the Conservative parties, like, yeah, look, serious and inappropriate. Uh, I haven't read all this uh, article yet, but just kind of like getting the gist of it um, about him. You know, giving, uh, here we go, uh, and it, uh, again, a mention of Enchain. An Enchain representative told The Guardian it had only uh, learned from the uh, of the £70,000 donation to the Conservatives after Ager Hansen had been dismissed. It appears that it was Ager Hansen, the, represent, the representative claimed, uh, who had ordered the payment. There was no uh, onboard or shareholder approval of this donation, meaning it does not appear to have uh, complied with uh, provisions in the Companies Act covering corporate donations. Honestly, honestly, you know, I think he was just literally trying to um, get N-Chain in trouble above, above the sound of things by doing underhand dealings that would later come to pass. But he wasn't even, he was, um, well, now he's uh, no, no longer with the company. Absolutely outrageous. Uh, let's have a quick look at the figures. So we've got Bitcoin at $99. Transactions, 28.96%. Block size, 41. And look at this. So we've got a pool here called Moscow Pool. Uh, being reported as uh, mining the chain here, but it is not showed or listed um, uh, by CoinDance on the BSV mining pools. So I think they've stopped reporting on the BSV mining pools. Uh, but what is it? What is interesting is the profitability of these again. So uh, they've kind of like been uh, been bought uh, been brought back into line uh, with the profitability of BTC again, which suggests they're being carefully managed. Because uh, B crash has already undergone the 50% uh, cut in block reward, but it's currently 8.4% more profitable to mine on SV. So let's check who's mining on that. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But again, uh, there's no um, Moscow pool on here that I can see, unless it's included with somebody else. Um, so um, yeah, we'll we'll just have to wait and see to see if they uh, see if they appear. That was, um, yeah, that was the uh, uh, post on Twitter from the uh, from the Guardian. Let's have a quick look at Terranode. Come on, look, check this out, check this out. So we've just had a 101 gigabyte block produced uh, with an average transaction processing speed of 717,932. Uh, where was the latest one million transactions per second processed? Oh, getting getting close, getting close. When was it? Oh, I, I know, I know, I saw it. I know, I saw it. There we, there we go. So the last, the last block that had a million transactions processed within it, uh, happened twenty hours and six, uh, twenty six minutes ago. Um, brilliant, brilliant. At precisely uh, one twenty seven p.m. UTC uh, yesterday, a million transactions per second per second uh, for, a, for pretty much almost like a 10 minute 10 minute block there absolutely fantastic right uh, there we go that is a quick 10 minute show hope you enjoyed it and uh, as ever if you enjoy these updates please ding your donations for your appreciation at uh, Satoshi at Handcash they're always much appreciated so uh, until then be aware take care stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next one